I'm standing here with 2024 All Metro Player of the Year, Lainey Grant. And Lainey, what does it mean for you to kind of be able to take home this honor? You know, it means a lot. You know, this is a very prestigious honor. It houses a lot of really amazing athletes' names. So for my name to be on this list twice now, it's a dream come true. So I'm really thankful. You got your team to the state final this year. You know, this is a very historic year for James River. Uh, to be able to be a part of that, what did that kind of mean to you? I mean, that it was an amazing season. It was mm -hmm. a season that everybody wanted and the season that everybody worked for. And obviously we came one game short. We yeah, had a really, really good Princess Anne team. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm just proud of our group and how hard we worked and how we executed it up until the very end. And I'm sad it's over, but happy for my next chapter. So... I think a lot of people are going to be so curious to how this all played out yes. to be able to. So can you just talk me kind of through what the process was like to kind of reclassify and get ready to go to UNC next year? Yeah, um, obviously I committed really, really early, so I yeah. built amazing relationships with the coaches and my future players. So mm -hmm. um, I feel really comfortable with them and they feel really comfortable with me. And the topic kind of just got brought up in a conversation and it was something that I was really interested in mm -hmm. and it was something that they were interested in as well. Um, and I uh, stacked a bunch of credits early, so it's easy for my school. Um, mm -hmm. I still got to take a couple more classes, but <laughs> I'm really excited and I'm really grateful for the opportunity. You know, and then Grace Townsend, you yeah. know, announces she's transferring to UNC to get to play with another rap. And, uh, have you talked to her? And, you know, what was, what, how, just how excited are you for that part? What a coincidence, man. <laughs> two, two players to end up from the same high school at the, at the level that we're going to be playing yeah. together. It's amazing. I'm so excited. And I'm proud of all the growth that she's made and how much she's helped her program. But mm -hmm. I'm really excited to see kind of what we can do in the court together. So you committed you know, early to UNC and, you know, you've been the leader at James River for the last three years and you're now you're leaving early. So, how, you know, you've grown up a little quickly. Uh, what's it been like to kind of take this next step in your career just so early on? Yeah, I mean, um, at times it's been a lot, but I have mm -hmm. an amazing support system around me with my family and my friends and my teammates. Mm -hmm. So it's never been anything that I've ever regretted. You know, I'm kind of stepping up into into my role and kind mm -hmm. of how I want to go through my journey. Um, yeah. And it looks a little bit different than everyone else's, and that's okay. Mm -hmm. And I'm just excited to see um, see what this UNC team can, can do next year and what impact I can help make. And, you know, leaving James River at the state championship game, you know, what was it like in that last year now to be able to get the team all the way to Siegel Center? I mean, obviously it would have been the cherry on top to win right. that game. But the fact that we got there and the fact that we, I got to do it with a team full of girls that I really, really love and that mm -hmm. I always will love, that's exactly what I wanted and what I dreamed of. Um, so, you know, I feel like I'm going out, you know, mm -hmm. On a pretty high note, even after that loss. So. This year for girls basketball in the area and nationally for women's basketball has been such a stepping stone in you know in women's sports in general. So, what's it like for you to be able to see the area's talent grow along with national talent go as you head into a pretty big school <laughs> next year? You know, um, there's so much hype around women's basketball right now, and you know, obviously there's been some amazing players that have kind of nationally caught the spotlight, and mm -hmm. it's amazing. It's fun to watch. I'm, I'm beyond excited that I'm going to be able to be a part of that. Um, I'm going to try to, you know, do my thing on that type of stage. And in the area, I feel like this area always has had a lot of really amazing players. But yeah. especially now, we have some talent that's beyond amazing. So mm -hmm. I know that we have some seniors graduating from the area that are amazing, but we have a lot of really young players yeah. as well who are going to continue, continue a legacy in the area. So I'm really excited to see it. And then do you have any fond memories at James River, anything that stands out in particular over these last few years? I, there's so much, honestly. Like the, the girls are my sisters. Yeah. Every single one of them. We took a trip to Miami as a team, mm -hmm. and it was so fun. And I mean, I could go down the list and name about 40 different things, <laughs> but I don't think we have time for that. So just you know, they they created a space where it felt like home for mm -hmm. me, and it felt like home for a lot of people, and that's really really special. You have any mentors or anyone you'd like to thank? My family, my dad in particular, um, Coach David Anderson, who mm -hmm. was one of my first trainers, Adam Lonnen from Trinity, he's worked with me as well, but there's a lot of people, it's not just me, I know it just seems like, you know, me as a player, but there's a lot of things that go on behind the scenes, so I'm thankful for everyone. How do you think your game has kind of evolved over the last three years here, from where you were as a little freshman to now? <laughs> you know, coming in as a freshman, like, you know, you want to do so much, but I feel like I've kind of settled into myself as a player, yeah. scoring-wise. I feel like I've made myself more dimensional. I can mm -hmm. score from pretty much anywhere um, that I wanted to towards mm -hmm. the end of the high school season, and that's something that I'm really proud of. Mm -hmm. um, 
and just leadership wise, being able to take a group of girls and, and get everyone to buy in, which was right. hard with a group that we had. <laughs> Absolutely. And then just lastly, you know, thinking back, looking back at your James River career, what are you going to remember? That question makes me sad. Oh I goodness. know. I think, I think I'd have another year to answer that. <laughs> um, I would definitely say, I would say winning the regional championship mm -hmm. with the group that we had and the seniors that we had, you know, me at the time not knowing that I was a senior as well, <laughs> yeah. basically, just the celebration that went along with that and the fact that, you know, we had a goal set out and we did it. And that's something that brought everyone a lot of happiness and joy. But, you know, I love you guys. <laughs> Lastly, how excited are you to go to UNC and play for that program? <laughs> I'm beyond excited. You no, know, UNC is a legacy basketball school. So, yeah. gonna see if we can go, you know, stir up some storms, see if we can get some noise and some buzz. You know, they had a, a pretty good season last year, and I'm excited to kind of build off of that.